so first what i will do here i will create a storage or a file system okay so let me just create a file system <coughs> so this is my storage so in this storage i will create a files okay so then i will upload two to three photos over there or like uh, some contents over there okay one two three four i will upload uh four contents over there okay so then what i will do here uh i will provision one operating system uh, this is my windows operating system then i will connect this azure files with my operating system okay so i will be able to find all the images over here right right okay so then i'll create one azure service recovery vault okay then i'll try to connect my azure files and azure recovery vault okay then i'll try to back up all the files then i'll try to back up all the files later i'll go to my virtual machine then i will delete all the content whatever i have in my file system okay so the problem is deliberately i deleted all the files in the sense now the file is not existing on my system or as well as my files right but the but uh, but the by the help of this azure recovery vault i can back up or i can restore the files again so that i'm going to do over here. see first i will create a file system over here i'll try to connect my windows machine okay so i will be able to find all the files on the system right i'll upload two to three photos over here or images or some contents like photos or files and all okay so then i will create the recovery entity or recovery service over here so later i will uh, add this storage into my recovery vault then i will back up all the contents whatever the images and files i have over here so then i will go to my virtual machine or uh, azure file then i will deliberately i will delete all images or all files okay so as of now we don't have any images right once i delete it okay so then i'll try to restore all the image by the help of this azure vault or recovery vault okay any doubts okay so now we'll demonstrate that how we can do that okay so let me go to azure recovery service vault so for that i will go to azure portal then i will serve, i will search azure recovery service vault Okay, here you can see that uh, Azure Recovery Service Vault, right? I'll open this Azure Recovery Service Vault first. So create. Select your playground uh, resource group. Then I will create a name for the vault. I'll put recovery one and I'm going to deploy on uh, Central US. So review plus create. So you can see that I'm going to deploy uh, this recovery vault on central US. Okay. See, uh, for example, wherever you have your storage, okay, you have to keep this vault on same region. Okay. For example, your storage in East US, then you have to create this vault on where East US only. Then only you will be able to access, or else you won't be able to access the particular storage. Okay. So successfully, I uh, okay. Successfully, I provision my service. Okay. You can see that deployment in progress. Right. So now I'll go to Azure storage, I'll create a storage account, then I'll create a file share inside that storage account, then I will add some photos or videos, okay, then I'll connect with my Windows virtual machine, okay. So let me do that, I'll open one more tab. So first I'll go to my Azure storage account, okay. So let me create a VM first, then uh, it will take some time, right, I'll go to VM first. So we can shuffle the process, either we can create VM or uh, Azure file system, no problem. I'll go to virtual machine. So here I will create a Windows virtual machine, go to Azure virtual machine. Select your resource group and name. So I'll call it as Windows. See, I'm going to deploy in the same region, Central US. Okay. So select zone 1 or you can select none. Okay, I'll select my Windows operating system. Come down, I will select the authentication type. Username and password. We have to put the username and password. For enable your port number 3389. Then review plus create. I will open one more tab. Then I will create on this tab my file share. Here I will search. Here I will search storage account. Storage account. Okay. 
So as of now, I don't have any storage account in my uh, Azure portal. I'll go into create a new storage account. Create. Select your resource group. Uh, come down. We have to provide a storage account name. So I'll provide Ashik test account. Come down. I'm going to uh, host this host storage work. Uh, see, we have to uh, like host this in central US because we already uh, created a service vault over central US only. Same as I created one virtual machine on central US. That's all. So then, uh, WP plus create that itself. Okay, you have to make ensure you already selected central US. You can see that central US, or else it won't work. See, when you go to your service vault, we have to uh, add a file system over there. So at that time, you cannot find your storage account. So create a storage account. <coughs> My Windows virtual machine that is getting created in progress. Same as my storage account, and I've been already created my service vault. I'll go to my service vault. Okay, I'll go to backup. See, we have an option over here backup, right? Okay, click backup. And one more thing if you go to properties, you'll be able to find uh, the redundancy option. See, backup configuration. Just click update. Here you can see that. Okay, here you can see the locally redundant or geo redundant or zone redundant. The problem is before you are creating backup, you have to make ensure which redundancy you require. Okay, the, so here you can see that this option cannot be changed after protecting items. Okay, so I'll select a locally redundant. I, I require this one. Okay, so once you created a backup, then you cannot change from the local to a geo. That's not possible. So before you have to make ensure you already opt the right configuration. Okay. So I'll go to backup. So in this backup, you can see that uh, we can take backup of, you can see that the virtual machine and Azure files and SQL servers and uh, SAF HANA in Azure VM. Okay, it's not a no SQL. You can just write it on SQL, SQL. Mm -hmm. Just make it as SQL. Okay, not a no SQL. Virtual machine, Azure files and SQL. Okay. So let me check. Okay. Successfully, I created my uh, storage account. I'll go to go to resource. Okay. I'll create a containers. Oh, sorry, I'll create a file share inside. So go to file share. So let me create a name. Storage. Ah, we can put any value and I'll create this account. Okay, create. I successfully created a storage account, right? I will open this. Let me go to my VM as well. I'll try to connect my virtual machine. Uh, go to connect, then uh, click on RDP. So download this RDP file. Open RDP file, connect. So provide your configuration, sorry, credential. I'll put my Ashik, Ashik, Ashik at the rate one, two, three. Accept. And you can see that successfully I connected my virtual machine, right? Okay. So let me uh, connect my file share with my virtual machine. So I'll go to my storage account. So first I will upload some contents over here. So let me go to selective file. So I'll go to desktop. Then I'll go to my DevOps and Terraform. And then I will select one, two, three, okay. Three uh, files. One is the two installation and syntax and Terraform state file types open. Okay, upload. And this is going to upload these three files over here. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, right? <coughs> so this is this successfully uploaded three files, right? Okay. So now I'll go to a uh, connect option. So let me select windows and I will select Z letter. So then show script, copy the script, then go to your windows uh, machine. Open your PowerShell.
and paste the script over you so automatically it will attach or it will assign the file share with your system so paste so it will test the connection waiting for the response successfully connected hit enter okay credential added successfully so now i'll go to my storage account let me go to storage account so just click over you then windows key and e button okay, then go to this pc and here you can see that successfully i connected my storage ashik account right if i open this you'll be able to find four files sorry three files two installation 3.1 syntax and 3.2 terraform state file types right so now i'll connect my uh, vault account or recovery uh, recovery entity then i will back up all the files okay then i'll deliberately i will uh, delete or remove all the files then later i will back up or restore the files again let's see how we can do that okay i'll go to my azure again i'll go to my uh, recovery vault see so recovery service vault right so i will select my azure file share so click backup okay now you can see that storage account i didn't select it in storage account right so we have to select select so select your storage account and you have to make ensure you create your the storage account same region then only you will be able to get the storage account over here okay and i will select the storage account then uh, click okay and it will register the storage account once it register the storage account you have to select the file share okay you have to select the file share so still it's registering once it complete registering i will add this uh, storage files whatever the file share i have i will add into my uh, this recovery folder let's wait so when you open the power shell there is an automatic Work. Power shell. Power shell. When you open that power shell, will it connect automatically? Not automatically. I enter the like, I like I paste the code over the script over there, then automatically it's connected. സക്സസ്ഫുള്ളിക്കൺസ് so i have only one file share i will select the file share over from here see this is my file shares right so i'll select this then okay successfully added then enable backup how file share ipo nammal 75 ulla three files indagatte enter 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 appo namukku customize cheyan pattu pattu adu adu avada varunnu adutha adu okay So now I added my file share, right? So let it come uh, complete this progress. Deployment progress. So still is a deployment in progress. We have to wait one minute. Okay, now it's completed deployment. Okay, so I'll go to my resource again. Okay, so now I can see that uh, we have an overview over here. And if you come down, you can you can have an option backup, right? So click backup. So select your virtual machine. Sorry, Azure files. 
let me go to back what are items what are the items back now? okay we already done backup right we already added a storage account right so now i'll go to my backup items okay so here we have to select our azure files okay open azure files okay so then select your azure file so click view details okay so we have an option of a backup now so we till now we didn't backed up our storage account okay so click backup now okay so triggering backup for the storage account okay so now it will backup so once it completed then we will try to what what will do delete the, delete the files okay, we can do that so here you can see the restore share and uh, file recovery okay so this is custom customizable in the sense see suppose if i want to customize or one file or three files then i can go with the file recovery okay. so this is restore entire file share so we can customize it okay so once it complete we'll go with the triggering backup for the storage account still it's backing up our three files i have a three files over there that's right. Okay, successfully backed up my all files, right? So now I'll go to my uh, Azure account. Okay. Then first, let me just back from this window. Okay. Again, I'll go to my backed up items. Azure files. Select your uh, storage account, storage Azure file share. So now you can see that we have a two option is enabled. See previously it was not enabled, right? Because we didn't back up our file share that sort. So now it's enabled. So now what I will do here, I'll go to my uh, my Windows system and I'll try to remove this file. Okay, remove this entire file. Okay, are you sure want to permanently delete these three files? Okay, okay. Successfully deleted. So I'll go to my uh, this storage vault again. Okay, then I will back up this. See? restore share or else customly you can specify each file <coughs> or else i'll be the restore share okay. i will go with the end there. okay restores uh, point we have to select so this is optional either we can consider um, original location or already existing select loading its point okay okay so this is optional okay overwrite existing and all and this we have to select Wh which time you backed up like that restore triggering restore for storage ashik i'll go to my uh, windows then i will refresh so it will take a couple of minutes see now you can see that two file has been backed up and three file has been restored right very simple we can uh, back up our on-premise data and azure files and virtual machines and sql Okay, from these sources we can back up our uh, like data. Any doubts? Any doubts?